This is just one field at Hillview Farms in Princeton, located in western Kentucky. Owner Trevor Gilkey rotates corn, soybeans, and wheat on this 138-acre tract of land, which he irrigates with a center pivot, drawing water from this large pond on the back side of the property. Gilkey is involved in a research study with University of Kentucky soil scientist Ola Windroth on how he can conserve water while the crops still benefit without excessive runoff. If we know that the water is not taken up at the speed in that part of the field as it is here in this spot, then we have to do something about it. Gilkey is committed to Windroth's research, having worked with him on various projects over many years. And I've worked with a lot of researchers. I've probably not run into any of them that probably works as hard as what Ola does. Because he's out here with a shovel and uh, uh, probes. I mean, he's, he is hands-on, and I, I like the hands-on. Ola is a basic research scientist, um, but he is very committed to making sure that anything that he finds out and looks at in terms of soil physics or soil properties has an application for Kentucky producers. In order to get that information and to make sure that water is applied to the places in the field where it is needed, workers are modifying this center pivot, equipping each individual sprinkler with the technology that will regulate the rate of flow to each nozzle. Thanks to Windroth's extensive sampling and research in this field, they already know the algorithm. The cutting-edge research is being conducted near the University of Kentucky's new Grain and Forage Center of Excellence, and its director said the research has implications for all of the state's grain farmers. It's confirmed, well then that model applies to nearly all of the irrigated acres that we have in Kentucky currently, and that's exciting because then it becomes applicable to a lot of farms across the state. So to be able to take concepts that we develop into the lab and bring them into the actual work environment and the field uh, helps us understand what pieces of our science we have right and what pieces are still a long ways from being right. It certainly helps with application too. Gilkey will be able to use the technology in this field with next year's crops while Windroth will use the information he collects to support his research. Yes, that is a great challenge, but I, I see it more as a great opportunity. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.